Hey everybody, Jamie Pate here. Welcome to this video. And uh, this is what we call a super duper easy little mini. <laughs> Might even be our title today. So you can see here, I have got some lake photos I've been wanting to kind of isolate. And so I thought, well, I'll put them in a mini album. But um, I have so many stories I want to tell right now that got me thinking, okay, what's the simplest mini album that you know? And it's an accordion album, right? We've all done them. They can be quite complex. They can be quite simple. They can um, be elaborate. They can be um, not elaborate. <laughs> you get my drift, right? So today, um, just join me in doing yourself a favor. And if you have stories to tell and you've got like an isolated story, which I consider this an isolated story. There's a lot of photos I want to talk about and have in, in a place where I can look at them often. And so a mini album is it. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay. I have reached for Sun Chasers, one of or it's actually the newest collection from Heidi Swap. And this particular double-sided 12 by 12 pattern paper is called Beach Life. Great name. I am splitting it in half at the length or at the width rather. Um, so six inches and six inches. So now I have two pieces of paper that are 12 inches wide, six inches tall. Along the 12 inch score or measurement rather, I'm going to score at four inches and eight inches. And this is just going to be the beginning of the accordion. Don't know if you've made accordion books in the past. To me, they're just a, kind of an old school album. There's so many uses for them. And they tend to be connected, especially when you want them to be longer than the width of your paper. You then connect them. Well, I'm going to connect this in a little bit of a different way today. And you'll see that in a moment. So I'm just kind of messing with that first piece in my head, thinking what is going to be the cover, what's going to be the inside. So now this lifeguard station um, doesn't go with the photos that I showed you at the intro that is more lake, but that's okay. Cause it's not really going to be matting the photos, but then it does, but then it doesn't. So you'll have to see what I mean about that here in a moment. So it's making sure my creases are good and that way the pages are definite on how they're actually going to be opened and what is actually a panel. So as we go along here, I'm going to get ready to show you what my little twist is on this particular accordion album. So I'll, I'll do this a couple times here. I'm just fiddling with what is going to be my front. So basically when you have an album that last left panel is going to be your cover. So I basically decided that the cover is going to be the graph pattern. And so I'm going to put it up against scoreboard again. And on the left edge, this is the front cover. Now on the left edge, I am scoring in at one inch. And this is what is now going to attach to the rest of the book to give it kind of my accordion album twist as I'm so infamously, 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 <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> Calling it here. And so here's the story behind this. I have had to fiddle with my computer for about an hour and a half now. And so I'm a little giddy with now actually getting this done. So this is how it goes. Okay. Now add your adhesive just inside the scored inch space. And then that is going to basically layer on top of that second piece of 12 by six paper. This will make a little more sense here as we open it back up. Okay. So it's closed. And as you open it back up, you got three panels, but because of our scored attached inch space, it opens even wider and you have this great width of a book and that's the backside there. Okay, now I have printed my photos out to be three and a half inches wide by five inches tall. I want each panel to hold a photo, probably not going to embellish too much on the photo itself. I'm going to leave some open panels for that. But the, I, you also notice that I corner rounded each of the photos too. Sometimes I do that. I just kind of really like that look at times. Now, 
I told you previously, this is the back of my book. And so I absentmindedly went ahead and adhered a photo to the back and it's not going to stay. And here's why, because as I keep refiddling, this is what I do. I just like close it up. I look at it again. You can see where I've layered two photos there. Great way to um, get some more mileage for your photos. And then you can see what I have in place on the inside. There's four photos on the inside, still leaving two panels to embellish or add journaling with. And then there's a photo on the back and it, it, it actually is literally the back, which will be handled quite a bit. So it's not going to stay. That will change. Now let's move on and kind of segue into embellishing here. I am punching out from pattern paper using the reinforced hole punch. And I want to add that as an embellishment. And you'll see how this plays out here. Kind of making it look like we're keeping this bound on, a, along that score space using the multi hole punch to give that a perfect hole punch. I love that quarter inch hole punch. I use that all the time. This is some seam binding that I have previously colored with the new Distress Uncharted Mariner Distress Ink. And I just love the color so very much. It's just so good. Okay, now please forgive me because I'm showing you here this thread. It kind of looks like a baker's twine, but it's a thread and it's no longer available from what I could find. And I did not intend to utilize something that if you were interested in it, that you can't find also. So please forgive me for that. But we can kind of focus on the fact that it's really a lot of fun to layer and double up your different ribbon types. It just gives it a little bit more interest, a little bit more depth and dimension. So we'll just go with that. For the embellishing, I have um, that Weekend Vibes is actually a cutaway from another piece of pattern paper. And it was kind of just sitting in my box of this paper collection. And I grabbed it and I clipped it to the cover with the heart clip that is from Sun Chasers. Now I'm doing my tried and true pulling up the edges with a metal ruler. These are the phrase and definition stickers that is also part of Sun Chasers and I'm keeping with the same colors on the front. So I'm choosing some more of the bluish greenish hues here. And this one I'm going to trim up kind of in Heidi Swap fashion. So I just didn't want as much. I, well, actually I didn't, I wanted to kind of size it differently from the sticker that I already had on there. So this is one way to do that. Just trim up a sticker. It gives a little bit more uh, design um, interest when you have different sizes playing against each other. And so you're going to see this up close here in a second. And I took the playful paper that has a bunch of dots on it and I fussy cut it and I made that another layer underneath those stickers as well. Okay, here is another technique that I am starting to use, finding myself using a lot more. That's a little swatch of vellum sticker paper that I am stamping the enjoy from the Sun Chaser stamp collection. I'm going to peel it off and I'm going to attach it. And this is only because I have commitment issues. It's a true story. I have commitment issues. I want the enjoy to be on my cover but I'm afraid to stamp it because I might mess up. So enter the vellum sticker paper and uh, I get a lot of mileage out of that sticker paper. And uh, it's just a great way to um, stamp on a separate surface and then add it to your final surface. And it looks great. It looks like you actually stamped it right on there. Okay, the last page we're going to embellish today. Now, the inspiration for the way I'm going to format this page actually came from a previous hike album that I did a couple years ago, and I've actually posted it recently. It's, a, it's an oldie but a goodie. So I'm taking another stamp from the Sun Chaser stamp set, Sunshine State of Mind. What a great stamp. What a great phrase. And with black ink... I am stamping it just about right above the imaginary halfway line on that little panel. I've already added a label. Now I trimmed that label up and used part of it on the cover. And I had obviously that last two thirds left over and I popped it up there with some foam adhesive. And I'm going to do the same thing with this little definition sticker. I have off to the side there the one eighth inch strips of foam dimensional tape. Love it, love it so much, use it all the time. And that's because I really do love and am fond of popping up 
my embellishments um, here and there. So I'm going to do the same thing in there, just adding a little swatch of that. And there goes the surround and it just kind of layers over and has a little good dimensional time of it. Another DIY process I enjoy doing is stamping on pattern paper. Now this stamp is an older Heidi Swap set, still available, says recorded. This is going to be home to the date but i'm going to kind of cut it out like it looks like a label and so i've added journaling already to my page and then now i'm going to pop up that little recorded faux label and i have split up some more de definition stickers and putting them in place here and it's going to finish up this page it's kind of simple very open very green love it i love it all i'm enjoying it putting this little album together and i think i add a heart there yeah i add a heart there to the label as well so oops i have a wayward sticker i need to commit those with some craft glue probably especially since it's on a cover but you can see i have a couple pages now embellished and i still have some panels waiting for journaling and more details but I love how this turned out. I forgot how much I really do enjoy according albums. Kind of like this little twist. Got to fix that photo on the back. It's not going to stay there. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.